hello guys welcome to the channel it simplified in today's video i'll show you how to deploy scale set within azure so let's get started by going to create a resource just do a quick search for virtual machine scale set you get a brief description which you can go through and uh, click on create Let's give a name for this. Feel free to give any name and in the operating system disk image, you can uh, select from Windows or Linux. So you can select 2008, 2012, 2016 or in Linux, you can select CentOS, uh, CentOS, uh, Debian, Red Hat, uh, all these options are available. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna pick 2016 data center edition and uh, we'll deploy this in our uh, resource group, which is Girish resource group. Uh, feel free to pick the location that you want to use and uh, give the name to manage this scale set. In my case, it's gonna be Girish and give a password. I'm going through a little bit fast on these uh, points because uh, in my last video, I covered in detail what is behind the scene mechanism for scale set. So in today's video, we're doing actual deployment. So if you want to refer this, please go back to that video on my channel. Under the instance count, I'm gonna deploy two virtual machine within uh, the scale set. And uh, you can select the instance size depending upon what kind of application will be running on this. So you can see there are a lot of options available but I'm gonna pick uh, DS1 version two with a one virtual CPU and a 3.5 gig of RAM. And uh, you can enable, if you want to deploy more than 100 instances, you can go with yes, but in my case, I don't have any needs of that kind of deployment. So I will select no and uh, manage disk. Uh, I will uh, create when I'm deploying the scale set, which is recommended by uh, Microsoft. And let's give the public IP address name, which is the uh, IP address for the uh, load balancer. And I want to keep the static. And let me give the name for the domain name uh, label. It's going to be IT Simplified. And you can select and see that under the auto scale, it is disabled, but let me click on enable and we'll do a couple of more configuration. So the minimum number of VMs I want to go by above is one, so that is auto scaling, and the maximum number of VMs I want is 10, but if you want, you can obviously change it. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, just for this demo, I'm gonna keep it, say, well, let's leave it to the default, say 10. And the CPU threshold, let's say 75%, so in case my uh, scale set which is this threshold it's gonna scale out by one vm you can change it according to your requirement i'm gonna make it 70 percent and the number of vms it's gonna increase by is one so it's gonna add one vm to my actual uh, scale set which is two and uh, for scaling in the cpu threshold is 25 so once it hits 25 percent of cpu threshold it's going to decrease the vm by one so uh, my initial scale set has two VM. So when it reaches 70%, it's gonna add one more, but as soon as it hits the 25% threshold for auto scaling in, it's gonna decrease the VM by decrease count by one. And I'll click on the create button. So if I expand the notification, you will see that the deployment is in progress. If I go under the resource group, which was Girish RG, we should see some sort of activity going on here. So you can see that uh, Girish scale set, that's the name of the virtual machine scale set. I have the load balancer, which is Girish scale set load balancer. So all those are getting deployed.
So as you can see, if I expand my grayish scale set under the resource group, you'll see by default it is creating four, zero, one, two, and three. So it means that uh, the four VMs, but we specify that it's two VM, but that is how Azure creates this. But once this installation is completed, you'll see that you'll only have uh, two virtual machine, which we have specified within this scale set. So don't worry about in case you see uh, these four instances getting deployed, it's gonna squeeze back to the two which we have uh, specified within our initial configuration. So while this getting deployed, let me just uh, give you a little bit in more though I have explained this in my previous video so what we have done is that uh, uh, in our uh, initial configuration for the scale set we told uh, Azure that we're going to deploy two VMs within this scale set right so this is our scale set and we have put a load balancer in front so uh, we can configure a little bit more configuration of the load balancer and it will equally distribute the loads on this two instances and for auto scaling what we have done is that we have specified that we're gonna go with uh, I think it was eight instances that we specified and once this uh, scale set reaches 70 70 percent of threshold we will increase the scale set by one VM so once this also reaches 70 percent another vm will be spun up so you don't have to do from your end that is the beauty of uh, utilizing scale set within azure and the maximum instances it can go is eight uh, instances uh, that's the maximum limit we have given and the other thing is that for uh, auto scaling in once this uh, instances reaches uh, say 20 percent right it's going to scale back to the way it was normally so say for example uh two uh, vms was spin up uh out of these uh, scale set right and this is still utilizing 70 percent and this uh utilizing say drop specs to um 18 uh, percent or 20 percent so it's going to go back to the three vms one two and three in the in the auto scaling that's the whole idea about scale set is that it's all automatic you don't need to worry about going inside the portal and spinning up those uh, virtual machines so that is what is uh, scale set getting deployed within the azure environment Okay, so you can see that the deployment was succeeded. So if I go to my resources, and as I told you that uh, it will be only two VMs, though initially you will say four VMs, and it's still getting updated, but uh, uh, these are the two VMs that we have uh, deployed. And also you can, uh, do a little bit more configuration side on the on the load balance on the backend pools and all those kind of stuff but i'm not going to go through this but at least you get an idea on how to deploy uh, scale sets by utilizing the azure dashboard i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day